He is known for being a French philosopher, art critic, and writer. He is recognized for his co-founding and contribution to the Encyclopédie. His name is Denis Diderot. Denis Diderot, a prominent figure during the Age of Enlightenment, was a French philosopher, art critic, and writer. As a co-founder and chief editor of the Encyclopédie, Diderot played a crucial role in shaping the intellectual landscape of his time. However, his journey to becoming a renowned scholar was not without its challenges. Born in 1713, Diderot initially pursued philosophy at a Jesuit college before considering a career in the church clergy. However, his passion for writing led him to make a bold decision in 1734, which resulted in his father disowning him. Embracing a bohemian lifestyle, Diderot dedicated himself to his literary pursuits, producing notable works in both fiction and non-fiction. In 1751, Diderot co-created the groundbreaking Encyclopédie alongside jean Lou Ron d'Alembert. This monumental project challenged religious and governmental authorities with its secular tone and critical stance on biblical miracles. The Encyclopédie faced bans and controversy, causing some contributors to withdraw their support. Despite the difficulties, Diderot remained steadfast as the sole editor, contributing around 7,000 articles. Although he grew despondent towards the project towards its end, the Encyclopédie would become one of the precursors to the French Revolution. Financial struggles plagued Diderot throughout his career, and he received little official recognition for his immense talents, even being denied membership in the Académie Française. However, his fortunes took a turn in 1766 when Empress Catherine the Great came to his aid, offering him the position of her librarian and providing him with much-needed financial support. Diderot remained in this role until the end of his life, with occasional visits to Catherine's court in St. Petersburg. Despite his literary reputation primarily relying on his plays and contributions to the Encyclopédie, Diderot's most significant works, including Jacques the Fatalist and Rameau's Nephew, were published posthumously. His legacy as a philosopher and writer continues to inspire generations, as he dared to challenge societal norms and advocate for intellectual freedom and progress. My life will recur in exactly identical fashion, Diderot once famously remarked. In exploring various disciplines and pushing boundaries, he embodied the spirit of the Enlightenment, leaving an indelible mark on the intellectual landscape of his time and beyond. Diderot, a renowned philosopher of the Enlightenment era, was known for his sharp intellect and unwavering dedication to reason. In his youth, he followed the teachings of Voltaire and embraced the deist Anglomanie movement. However, as he matured, Diderot gradually distanced himself from these beliefs and delved into materialism and atheism. He firmly opposed mysticism and occultism, prevalent in France at the time, asserting that religious claims must be subjected to reason rather than mystical experiences or esoteric secrets. Diderot's philosophical journey was a complex one, as he struggled with the contradictions of his time. He rejected the notion of relying on divine revelation and instead emphasized the importance of reason in understanding the world. He believed that nature, evolution, and experimental science were the keys to unraveling the mysteries of existence. In his book, On the Interpretation of Nature, published in 1754, Diderot delved into these topics, exploring the role of mathematics and materialism in the pursuit of knowledge. One of Diderot's notable contributions was his endorsement of his friend Baron D. Hallbacher's book, The System of Nature, published in 1770. He enthusiastically supported the work, considering it a powerful tool in the fight for truth. Diderot firmly believed that his efforts in conceiving the Encyclopédie, a comprehensive encyclopedia of knowledge, were not in vain. He saw it as a battle fought on behalf of future generations, confident that posterity would be grateful for his endeavors. Diderot once remarked, posterity is for the philosopher what the other world is for the man of religion. He understood that the impact of his philosophical ideas would extend beyond his lifetime. Just as religious individuals find solace and purpose in the belief of an afterlife, Diderot saw the appreciation and recognition of future generations as the reward for his intellectual pursuits. Diderot's philosophy reminds us of the importance of reason and critical thinking in our daily lives. It encourages us to question established beliefs and seek knowledge through empirical evidence and logical reasoning. By embracing the principles of enlightenment, we can navigate the complexities of the world and strive for a more rational and enlightened society. Denis Diderot, a renowned philosopher and writer, was born in Langres, Champagne. Growing up, he was surrounded by a loving family, including his sister Denise, whom he greatly admired and often referred to as a female Socrates. Diderot's early education took place at a Jesuit college in Langres, and in 1732, he received his Master of Arts degree from the University of Paris. Initially considering a career in the clergy, Diderot had a change of heart in 1735 and decided to study at the Paris Law Faculty. However, his passion for law was short-lived, 
and in the early 1740s, he made the bold decision to pursue a career as a writer and translator. This choice, however, resulted in his father disowning him, leading Diderot to live a bohemian lifestyle for the next decade. In 1742, Diderot's path crossed with that of Jean-Jacques Rousseau, whom he befriended while enjoying games of chess and coffee at the Café de la Régence. The following year, he further challenged societal norms by marrying Antoinette Champion, a devout Roman Catholic. Their union was met with disapproval due to Champion's lower social standing and lack of a dowry. Nevertheless, the couple welcomed a daughter named Angelique into the world. During this time, Diderot's perspective on religion may have been influenced by the passing of his sister, who was a nun. This experience possibly inspired his novel, La Religieuse, which depicts the struggles of a woman forced to join a convent and endure mistreatment from her fellow nuns. Throughout his life, Diderot also engaged in romantic relationships with several women, including Emelie Babouti, Madeleine de Puisier, Sophie Valland, and Madame de Meaux. Denis Diderot's early life was marked by defiance of societal expectations and a pursuit of intellectual and creative passions. His unconventional choices challenged traditional norms, but they also allowed him to explore profound ideas and create literary works that would shape philosophical discourse for generations to come. In 1746, Denis Diderot, a prominent philosopher of the Enlightenment, penned his first original work, The Philosophical Thoughts. This groundbreaking book explored the importance of finding a balance between reason and emotion to cultivate harmony in our lives. Diderot believed that without the presence of feeling, virtue would suffer, and the creation of sublime works would be impossible. Diderot understood that while feeling was crucial, it needed to be tempered by reason. Uncontrolled emotions could lead to destructive consequences. Therefore, reason played a vital role in regulating our feelings, ensuring they are channeled in a productive and beneficial manner. During the time of writing this book, Diderot identified as a deist. As a result, his work included a defense of deism and arguments against atheism. Diderot believed in the existence of a divine being and saw deism as a path that provided a framework for understanding the world and our place within it. Notably, the philosophical thoughts also contained criticisms of Christianity. Diderot questioned certain aspects of the Christian faith, perhaps seeking a more inclusive and rational approach to spirituality. His evaluation of religion and his exploration of alternative belief systems demonstrated his commitment to intellectual inquiry and the pursuit of truth. Diderot's work continues to hold relevance in our daily lives. It reminds us of the importance of embracing both reason and emotion, finding a harmonious balance between the two. By acknowledging and understanding our feelings, we can make better decisions and lead more fulfilling lives. Moreover, Diderot's emphasis on critical thinking and questioning established beliefs encourages us to engage in intellectual exploration and seek alternative perspectives. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.